Chaim Botbo was born into a famous musical family in Fez and to the famous singer Jacob Abutbo. At age 16, Chaim formed his own orchestra with his brothers and collaborated with many musical stars throughout his long career. Jane one has come to Casablanca to a special homage of a 60-year career of Chaim Botbo that brought out both the Muslim and Jewish community for a night of reflection, fun and music. The homage to Chaim Botbo's 60-year career brought musicians, public figures and press to a roundtable forum where the topic was Chaim Botbo and his musical style that impacted other musicians, both Muslim and Jewish. I was raised by a singer. My dad, he's a singer, he's a performer. Um, he, I grew up seeing my dad in stage and performing in bar mitzvah, in waiting, in Muslim waiting. Um, and my dad was always talking about football to us, how fascinating his music was, how people loved him, how, um, how Arabic music was so powerful in those days. Chaim Botbo's popularity spread word of mouth and he became a staple at Moroccan weddings and on Moroccan TV. As the guest of honor at the homage, Andre Azroulet is an advisor to His Majesty King Mohammed VI and founding member of the C100 Davos Forum for the Dialogue of Civilizations and Religions. The Moroccan Jewish and Muslim are celebrating this evening 60 years of performance of one of our most famous singer, Haim Bodbol, and the performance of his, fam his family. But what it's important to keep in mind is that this country is again telling all of us the art of possible. You know, we have a music in Morocco which is called Brodery, where you have a sentence in Hebrew, a sentence in Arabic. It's, uh, it is known as Matruz in Arabic, which is beautiful, just to show how close, how deep, how legitimate is this unique chemistry forged and nursed for centuries by the Muslim civilization and the Jewish civilization. In Morocco, it's not just a rhetoric or a theory, it's life. Morocco is right now renovating, refurbishing the cemeteries of all the religions of this country. Morocco is working towards ways of, of dialogue between these groups and so this identity, it's, we talked about it in terms of music in the, in the epitome of Chaim Bitbul, but it comes out in many aspects of Moroccan life and it's a celebration of diversity and unity all at once and uh, so that's, that's why we're here and uh, I'm happy to talk about it. We are Moroccans, even though we're Jewish or Muslim, it doesn't matter. We are Moroccans and we always stay Moroccans no matter what. Chaim Botbol's brother and band member Marcel Botbol described to JN1 what life was like being an artist in a family of musicians and growing up in the working class Jewish community of Fez. That's how an artist's life is. It is made like this, with moments of joy, moments of sorrow. But we were pleased to make this music, which is the Judeo-Moroccan music, because we are of the Jewish religion. And so we made this music we loved, we respected, and along the way we've evolved. In recent years, Chaim Botbol has returned to the classic Moroccan repertoire of his youth, bequeathed to him by his father and aunts in 1950s Fez. Maurice Albaz, the organizer of the homage and the producer of Haim Botbol's new album, explains why the concert was such a symbolic turning point in Haim Botbol's long and colorful career. He performed a lot of places in the world. Everywhere the Moroccan make a wedding, they call for Haim Botbol. Now, six years later, it's time for him to get back to the roots. It's time to, for him to go back for what he learned when he was really young to the real tradition of Fez and music of Fez. Tonight we celebrate the end of a cycle, but the beginning of a new cycle for the life and the career of Hein Botbol, one of the last Jewish Moroccan singer still performing in Morocco. As the last remaining Moroccan Jewish artist of his era, Hein Botbol's voice and role is very important in contemporary Moroccan history.
Currently, Jaime Botbo is working on his latest album in a Casablanca studio for future generations to come. For JN1, this is Michelle Medina reporting from Casablanca, Morocco.